Okay, so I've come to revisit the SSD on the Argon 1 uh, M2. So you see this one i got now definitely says Sartre, so I learnt my lesson, that was my bad. I was never ever criticising the Argon 1 for its inability to read an NVMe. It was my bad, I searched in Amazon and said minus NVMe, and then you sort by customer review and the Evo came up. I didn't spot the fact that when you sort by customer review it drops the filter. Um, but it doesn't matter. The odd thing is that even when I put that, just find here, here, even when I put that drive, the M NVMe into this external enclosure, it still didn't work. Um, but here we have the M2 SATA. What does it say, SATA? Says it there somewhere. Um, yeah, anyways, we have it installed in. And you have to be careful how you seat this because the first time I put it in, it could see the M, it, it sees it as some 40 device, so, as in, sorry, my bad English, F O R T Y, not 40, not as in a fault. Um, and it sees it and says hello. And then when you look on your unit, you don't see jack. But now when we look at the LS USB, you can see it coming up there as a media tech asm 1051 solder um, and if we look at the pseudo fds minus l then we get this is an F fdsa so what i'm going to do is to make the file system and at the moment you can see wireless is fine okay but it's all the guts are, sorry for the camera movement the guts are all apart now what i need to trial is um format the disk and then put it back together the clam shell together and see whether this then disappears the wireless because that's what it was doing last time and actually all i've done at this point is to put the case on and you can see the wireless has gone already yeah so it's in the same bloody position but the lid has come off let's see if i take that lid off oh no it's just the I thought it was a spark, but it's not. Let's see what happens now. Does it come back? Yeah, look, the wireless is coming back on. So definitely, the reason I'm disappointed with this is not that it can't take an NVMe. I know that. I was stupid. It can take a SATA device, but as soon as I put that lid on, I don't see the Wi-Fi. Uh, in, in my configuration. Now you may have a super strong Wi-Fi and you may be very fortunate. I'm I'm envious, really am, yeah. Uh, like I said, I have to reboot my thing just the other side of this wall. So I'm not going to reboot that device in a minute because that should be able to see it. So let's go and do that. So let's have a look. At the moment you see we're now associated with my Ext device, which is just the other side of that wall. So now what I'm going to do is very carefully i'll pause it and i'll put this back together again and we'll see what happens to the signal strength yep so the clam is back together it isn't got the usb plugged in at the minute um and the signal still seems to be there i'll just let go it shouldn't drop let's do that yeah still there so all right let's just now plug in that little extra jumper wire see what that does Okay, so we've got the little jumper in. I haven't put the screws on the bottom at the minute, but that's close enough for government work. And the Wi-Fi still seems to be there. Um, now, it's not as good a signal, but it's okay. Let's see if we can still see the disk drive. We can. Okay. So I think that's the way I'm going to have to play with it in a minute. I'm going to have to use a different wireless repeater. So again, I'd prefer to use the direct signal. It's good enough without this disk drive in but as it stands if i want to use the the usb stick or the sata stick then i have to use my external wireless on the other side of the wall uh, that means that you're this environmental for me so it's definitely reducing the amount of signal coming into the wi-fi stack uh, of the pi and i don't know if there's a way of getting some external cable onto it i'll have to look into that but that's my primary problem with this if you are someone like me who's got a reasonable wi-fi signal uh this thing cuts it down to the extent that it's not usable um, and that was my beef with it so i've had to use the wi-fi this other side of the wall which is pretty strong but it's not as fast because it's taking a jump between the 
router coming in or the signal com DSL coming into the house, routing across to that router and back again to here. So that's my beef with it. It would be nice if it didn't cut down the amount of Wi-Fi signal coming in. Okay, cheers. Bye.